I do have a Glock here, right? So, I mean, I'm gonna open that up. Okay, so, oof, oof, that is gonna be tough. Right now, guys, I have to be really careful. If he punches me, we are ending the game. So, <laughs> this is kind of scary. Hey, Joe. Guys, it is me, Hepisarik, and welcome back to Last Earth Survival. No deaths allowed, episode four. So, in the previous episode, we cleared Motel with this or paddle. And right now, I wanna get outside and see what kind of events are we gonna get right now. The chances are that maybe I'll have to go to the forest. Okay, so this is just a simple event. So, I believe that I'll just have to go here to these pine bushes in order to trigger some sort of witch event. First things first, let's go here to these pine bushes because even till this day, like I still get a couple of comments like every week that, hey, Sark, I met a witch inside of the green forest event, event, blah, blah, blah. So most likely this is going to be the event. Look at this, guys. This is going to be the witch event, right? Isn't it? I think it is. I think it definitely is the witch event. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. I have no idea why did I come here unprepared, but there are going to be these couple of guys who will actually fight the witch. And the point is she isn't going to drop us anything thing good so this is just kind of useless event i have no idea wait are they gonna attack me please tell me they aren't attacking me okay so this is gonna be like this guy is he gonna protect me i doubt it okay so we're gonna slap this crawler with our paddle and i want to see how this dude is gonna fight her so he has kevlar armor blah blah, blah. it was kind of interesting when uh, Kevlar armor wasn't in the game, but after it's in the game, it doesn't really matter. So I don't even think we're going to get anything from this event. You cannot pick up anything from these dudes like besides. Okay, so we can get a little bit of armor from this mercenary. I don't think I've ever seen that. One more body. Okay, so let's try to... I mean, I'm not even going to be wasting my armor and any of my ammo on this witch. Okay, so just uh, witch ran away. They're going to check this dude. Obviously, there is nothing. Lived without fear and died without it. Okay, that's awesome. He just respawned back at the base. What are you talking about? There is no more equipment. I, I didn't read what he said. Kind of didn't have enough time. And okay, so they're going to escape this place. And the point is, even if I'm going to go outside, nothing is going to spawn there. So I don't think there are any special hidden loots in this event. So it's kind of useless. You're not going to get anything valuable here and you're gonna waste like 15 energy just to get here and another event have spawned which is not related to this one so this is one of those seven daily events because every single day when you start an account you're gonna get like seven unique events and this is most likely fourth unique event and i had to do it in order to progress further in order to get my fifth uh, sixth and seventh unique event so i'm back here at the base and we're gonna get more of this coal so just as always i'm gonna use coal to burn coal here and the point is you need only 10 plants to get a stack of coal so we're gonna start grinding that and as soon as i'm gonna get enough coal i will start cooking my carrots because some people don't understand that there is actually a big difference between healing 15 health with this carrot or healing 20 health with cooked carrot and at the same time i somewhat somehow some way filled up my inventory with a little bit of items and now we're probably gonna go to police department because i really want to go to alpha bunker but i don't have any proper weapons to fight there i'm not even level 22 so i cannot go there so okay so there's this event i don't care about this oh i didn't even unlock my police department. Can we unlock it today? I think we could. Except that there are gonna be a bunch of zomzoms. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, we're gonna start traveling here to this watchtower. I came back to the base and I took a little bit of more items. So I'm gonna take this Glock and afterwards, if it's gonna break, I'm gonna use my shotgun. I do know that I said that you should be saving up your weapons, but I do want to unlock this police department as in the beginning, especially that police department is extremely valuable even before you unlock your bunker alpha. So that's what we are gonna do. And this watchtower is different from the northern watchtower because you won't require i didn't take a crowbar except that i do have a crowbar <laughs> that's awesome hopefully this little bit broken crowbar is going to be enough so i'm gonna start dealing here with these floater bloaters i shouldn't be wasting my glocks i know this i know this but it's not really that big of a deal i'm still gonna be able to deal with these guys and there's this leg shot and i'm not really sure how much durability leg shot takes so i don't really want to waste it because okay so we're gonna use this probably it uses one bullet maybe it uses two bullets but i don't like using leg shot i'm not really gonna be wasting it here because i do believe that probably takes more durability so i'd be better off just using here uh, simple bullets unless i'm mistaken but it doesn't really matter okay so we're gonna deal with one more hungry chomper here we go hungry chomper is gonna go to sleep sleep and now there's gonna be one more zamzam uh, the point is i didn't really even have to use my glock i could have just used here simple melee weapons okay whatever we're gonna slap this <laughs> zombie officer with my paddle go to sleep okay so we're gonna oh no don't tell me that i'll have to repair this and i don't have any items no no i wasted my energy 
I will not have any of these items. So I just literally came here for nothing. Dude, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. Well, at least you will know this. I forgot totally about that. I thought that there will be that engine, uh, that generator or whatever. I'll be able to pick it up and just go there. And another airplane crash event. So as I said, it's going to keep spawning until we go there. So that's great. Maybe there's like some sort of level limit. I don't think it's going to spawn maybe where you'll be level 100. But I mean, it's going to keep spawning until you'll go there. Well, sadly, and at the same time, not really sadly, we're going to start doing bunk or alpha again i'm gonna take super cautious approach here i am not gonna be doing probably any wall tricks on savage giants because i don't have any armor and we're just gonna strict away die well i have opened up here bunker alpha maybe i'll be lucky enough and i'll get here a little bit of these ration coupons i do believe that i'm gonna have uh, maybe some melee weapons inside of my inbox from that survival guide pass or whatever it's called so i'm gonna have here road sign i'm gonna have a cleaver so that is good enough i'm gonna take now my probably paddle we're gonna continue with that stuff definitely gonna gonna start looting these vending machines because here we're gonna get a little bit of food and i think today our adventures are gonna start from bunker alpha i also have double experience from the healer i'm not really sure for how long it's gonna last maybe for like 30 more minutes or something okay so for still for 43 minutes epic epic i don't think we'll be able to clear entire uh, second floor but at least a little bit because i also think that there is a big misconception especially uh, from the beginners that you shouldn't play and you shouldn't try to clear a bunker alpha unless you're like completely ready or whatever Whatever, but I think that is completely not true. I mean, all you have to have is just a little bit of items and you don't really even have to clear entire bunker alpha. If you're not going to have enough items, then you can come back next day or you'll just come back when that bunker alpha resets because there's totally no point for you to rush if you cannot clear this bunker alpha fully. And what I'm trying to say here by this is that you're still getting enough items, especially in the beginning. It's really hard for you to get these red tickets and getting even green tickets in the beginning is super worth it. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do today. I'll try to unlock at least that one green crate and you'll see how easy that is okay so we've gotten uh one more level that's epic so maybe today we'll be able to level up and we'll be level 22 especially with this healer's buff it will be incredibly easy to level up we're gonna get like most likely lucky that will be better okay so we're gonna load this thingy boom we're gonna pick up everything in the beginning i loaded the trash thingy now we're gonna go to the second floor hopefully i'm gonna have enough healing items and i think i already have like six or seven green tickets i have eight green tickets so 12 extra green tickets and and everything will be fine. So maybe I'm going to even use here my skull crusher right now. Not really sure if that's worth it or no. Not the skull crusher, but the saw blade mace. Most likely I don't have to do it, but they're going to be these peeps and they're going to do a little bit of damage. So I just want to deal with them like that. You, you don't really have to use your saw blade mace. As I said, if you're going to have a skull crusher, that will be a lot better. But I don't have a skull crusher over here and I don't want to use any of my healing items. Okay, so I kind of failed over there. Let's deal with one more and with one more zom zom here just like that. So one of them is going to drop me another green ticket and we're almost another we're almost level 21. That's great. I will also prepare now my crowbar and we're going to start dealing with these floater bloaters because also another big tip that I want to say here about Bunker Alpha. I do know that I said that in this account I'm not going to be sharing too many tips but it's really worth it for you to try to get at least these green tickets because the biggest concern from this Bunker Alpha that people are trying to tell me is that hey Sark I don't have any guns. How am I supposed to do this Bunker Alpha? It's like and I'm just like well don't kill Frenzy Giants and they're like I don't have guns. I cannot clear Bunker Alpha and whatever like how am I supposed to do it when I have zero guns to start with? So all you have to do is just try to open up green crates. That's it. In order to open up green crates, you don't have to have any weapons. And that's what I'm going to try to show for you today. Because you need guns only for Frenzy Giants. So if you're not going to be fighting Frenzy Giants, you're going to be safe. You'll be able to clear this entire place uh, with only melee weapons. And then there are some people how to get melee weapons, blah, blah, blah. Well, just craft them, get to level 22 and start crafting your crowbars, try to craft spears or something. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're not going to get anything inside of over here. Another level, like leveling up here when you have the double the experience especially in bunker alpha is easy okay so we've just gotten another skill i'm definitely gonna go here to this survival guide and yes indeed we're gonna get some iron one winchester so that is great especially the survival guide in the beginning is incredibly valuable i'm gonna fight with all of them because i just need experience here we're gonna try to fight these uh, floater bloaters probably could do a little bit of wall trick on them so i'm gonna try to use my crowbar here we go we're gonna do this just like that here we go wall trick works wonders with these guys and hopefully i'm not gonna die i i've really have to pay attention to my health i'm gonna key eat as wait why am i need oh i am eating okay why am i still getting punched in the face i don't get it 
Okay, so this is how wall trick works. I'm only at eight. No, why did what is going on? Why did my character go there? Okay, so I totally failed the wall trick here for some reason. I have no idea what's going on, but whatever. We're gonna fight now with this floater bloater. Every time, whenever there are two characters, it's easy to get lost to uh, who's punching or what's going on. But whatever. We've got an hour first red ticket in this account. Now, I did I get anything else? Yes, indeed. Ooh, we've gotten even more points. Okay, so let's start getting them. As I said, it's always worth it to just wait and start doing those tasks when you're gonna collect some more of those tasks because I didn't do any tasks like for 10 days and I still think that I have like 19 days left inside of that survival guide. And now already a lot of tasks opened up, so I'm gonna start finishing them uh, without even knowing what tasks I'm finishing. Am I right? Does that make any sense? Hopefully it does. Whatever. Let's take one first aid kit. There's gonna be Frenzy Giant. I'm not gonna try my... Uh, I'm not gonna try my luck there with that Frenzy Giant. As I said, if I die in this account, because for those who are not familiar with what we are doing here, we're playing in No Death Challenge, so we're not allowed to die here. If I die, I'll have to stop these series. I'll have to, like, basically delete this account, so I am not gonna risk uh, to fight that Frenzy Giant right now. I don't think I'll be fighting any Frenzy Giants, uh, especially with Wall if I'm not gonna have like full tactical armor or something just to be 100% safe So I could probably get rid of these empty cans But the point is empty cans are gonna be worth it because I'll try to use my empty cans for the recycler I'm gonna recycle them for the metal scrap and whatever wait I just realized that there is a turret and I died from the <laughs> turret on my free-to-play account there We could probably open it up and deal with those two frenzy giants or whatever they're gonna be called I don't have any armor. Do I have any armor in the inbox? Okay, so we're gonna have the shoes my inventory is full. What is this life? Well somehow some way I'm a little bit more protected so i want to go open up this room right and maybe 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 somehow some way i'll be able to watch wall trick these dudes uh, at least over here maybe okay so i'm gonna try to stay just like that and both of them started here we go punching me my goal today was really just to go to police department and unlock a couple of crates there get a couple of brown crates and whatever uh that would have been really worth it we would start getting our melee weapons because police department is going to be the easiest way to get your melee weapons for free and it's really easy to do that police department so okay we're gonna get neat freak uh, i mean whatever i don't think it really matters whatever my chest is gonna open up here right now let's get that one iron and from the skills if i had to choose i mean maybe getting this neat freak is better and whatever let's get this let's get the neat freak i do have a glock here right so i mean i'm gonna open that up okay so woof woof that is gonna be tough right now guys i have to be really careful if he punches me we are ending the game so <laughs> this is kind of scary so as i said i'm gonna be using glocks for quite some time here i'm not bothering i'm not gonna bother about any wall tricks maybe in the future we're gonna do it just to spice some things up but here we go we dealt with my frenzy giant just for the red ticket again there is no way i'll be able to open up my red ticket today but one day we're gonna gather enough of these red tickets and i need to get my gas tank anyway so we're gonna start doing that we're gonna start collecting those red tickets now i'm gonna loot these trash bins because inside of that okay so look at this we've just gotten one red ticket that's beautiful already so how many red tickets i have four red tickets and 12 green so far i have zero orange tickets but hey we're gonna get a couple of them relatively soon and just today at least if we're gonna open up like one green crate I think that already will be a win. I don't think I'm going to be fighting these two floater bloaters. They rarely drop anything good, even if they're going to drop. But I need those levels. But I'm already level 22, so technically there is nothing else, nothing... No reason for me to rush anywhere else. So I have here this Glock. As I said, it's not worth it to waste it. But in this account, all I care about is just getting a chopper. You know what? So do I really care about it? I mean, I don't have good melee weapons anyway. So I either do this or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get get these guys. I don't want to die over here. I'm just taking a little bit of precautions. I'm going to use this Glock on these uh, dudes a little bit. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Where is my shotgun? Totally don't want to be wasting shotgun. Should be probably saving shotgun on the blind one on the third hard mode bunker floor, but whatever. We're going to eat up just to restore some health and whatever and some hunger at the same time. So here we go, dodge that turret. So that was my first death from this turret inside of my free-to-play account and we dodged it. Well, I can't say anything yet because most likely we'll have to turn back because I don't think I'll be able to clear this entire floor with the gear that I have. Okay, so we're already level 23. I want to take the biggest advantage of the buff that I have from the dealer here. So we have to do it here. Go have a first green uh, orange ticket. We're going to go further. Probably could have sneaked behind those fast biters, but totally forgotten it. Uh, I have to pay attention to my health. <laughs> I keep forgetting to pay attention to my health. Okay, so let's open up this crate. And while my dude opening it up, let's get another thingy. Most likely we're just going to get more iron. Let's get it. I do 
think we're gonna farm some iron one day. I could probably fight those two guys inside of this room, but again, they're not really that much worth it. Chances are that they're not gonna drop anything. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna activate here the terminal. I don't have a lot of weapons and maybe we're even gonna be able to save the specialist. Can I save the specialist today? Probably, probably we can. Let's go over here. I'm probably gonna take now my saw blade mace and I do have a couple of bandages so we should be able to survive here. I do wanna save this guy, why not? I think that will be kind of fun even though he's totally useless. Can I do the wall trick? At least from one of them. Okay, so both of them are hidden. Epic, epic, epic. So I'm gonna waste my now baseball bat on these guys. So my plans here today were completely ruined. As I said, I wanted to go to police department, but couldn't. Now at least we're gonna save this schmuck specialist. Thanks. Lucky you're here, dude. You're the biggest scammer ever in the world. Okay, so we're gonna talk to him. I think we can work together. Yes. Uh, let's meet in the overseer's room. Okay, so he's gonna go there. Kind of sad that he's not even gonna give me a Glock or anything. He just runs away like that, but whatever. I mean, we're gonna probably get this one toxic abomination. He's gonna start following me. Can I hide behind this wall and try to wall trick this toxic abomination as well? We're gonna let him come closer. Yeah, we can definitely start fighting this toxic abomination over here with my cleaver. As I said, I still need a couple of green tickets. Four extra green tickets and I'll be able to open up one green crate and we're gonna get entire set there. We're gonna get one free Glock from that green crate. And and a couple of healing items. So green crates are awesome. Definitely really underappreciated in my opinion. Everything is underappreciated here. Okay, so another level. Did we're level 24 now? Yes, indeed, we're level 24. So there are going to be a bunch of fast biters. I have here a Glock and then probably we're going to just switch to the shotgun. I do know that it's not the best thing to do here, but all of them are just going to attack me and I don't have a lot of armor. I don't have a lot of other stuff. So we're just going to do what we got to do. Got to take care of shotgun and I'll deal now with this frenzy giant hopefully i'm not gonna no 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 oh my god no, look at that the shotgun why my guy keeps running that way this is scary this is scary this is scary okay whatever this dude is probably gonna die uh, i definitely could have probably killed him with melee weapon because he had only 10 health but hey i as i said not taking any risks not taking any chances and where are, oh i can loot this oh no level two this is so sad <laughs> this is so sad can i still loot this uh, crate but in any case i would have gotten there just one grenade or something if i'm lucky and i wouldn't be able to use that grenade anyways as i just explode myself for sure now let's loot another crate maybe we're gonna get a little bit of food maybe i'll get some green tickets four green tickets from this crate uh, from this entire bunker alpha that's all i need today more orange hey that's cool that's definitely cool but it's not what i need we're gonna leave those frenzy giants at least for now i do think that today we're gonna go back and finish those frenzy giants with my glocks that i have up the top but as of right now i want to go to the third floor and get my four extra green tickets that will be really worth it. I'm gonna get one extra gear and at what level will I be able to start upgrading it? It's still not yet at level 32 so definitely not today. I'm not gonna be able to reach level 32 today but who knows? <laughs> no, I doubt it. I would need to clear entire bunker alpha and only then I'd be able to get it. Okay so we're gonna start dealing with all of them. Gonna use my bandages in the correct moment. Don't want to be inefficient. Okay so we're level 25 already. As I said bunker alpha is insane to level up with the healer's buff. Let's deal with one more floater, bloater, go to sleep. Very nice. Yes, one extra green ticket. We healed up. Let's open this crate up and let's get one more skill. I think we're just going to get like probably hot blooded. Why not? I think it's the same. Anyways, let's get the water and we're going to continue our adventure inside of the bunker alpha. I'm going to sneak behind this toxic spitter. Some people do not know this trick, but hey, you can sneak behind this toxic spitter. We're going to do a little bit of damage to that. Then I'm going to switch back to cleaver. We're going to do some damage like this and we're going to take the cleaver and we're going to finish this toxic abomination. We could loot one more room up the top. Please tell me green. Yes, two more green and I'll be able to open up that green crate so we can come inside of this room, but I don't have enough really healing items. I don't have really any good gear it's kind of worthless to go there if you don't have good protection so i'm just gonna go here a bit further because i'll be able to kill this toxic spitter just like that with my saw blade mace and now we're gonna deal with this toxic spitter so this way i still can progress in bunker alpha and keep collecting my green tickets without risking too much okay so let's use this and yeah we're gonna go further they're gonna be like a couple of probably those look at this all of those toxic spitters are gonna attack me for no reason can i do a little bit of 
Wall tricking, can I? Okay, so can they come? Yes, indeed, one of them at least came here, so we're gonna be able to fight them one by one. So we can even wall trick Toxic Spitter somehow, somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna start fighting them here. And here we go, guys, 20 green tickets, just like that, without literally, with literally zero preparation. Okay, quite, gu quite gunner, we don't care about this. I would rather get uh, less thirsty. As I said, peeps, zero preparation. We didn't even prepare to do this bunker alpha today. Uh, we've just started level 26, and we're gonna open up our our first green crate today. I'm still maybe gonna go a little bit further as long as I have like this cleaver. Uh, I should be, uh, whatever, we're gonna use here my sawblade mace like this and we're gonna fight this toxic abomination and then we're gonna switch back again to this cleaver. We're gonna use here, we go one bandage and I'm really paying attention to my health and to my bandages here right now. So now I don't have really any melee weapons, don't wanna waste my other stuff. We could come over here and fight with these toxic bombs, not really big of a deal. We could clear probably this entire room with the guns that we have, but I'm gonna get back to the top, I'm gonna take my guns and we're gonna get back to the second floor. Okay, so before we go to the second floor, I do know that everybody waits here for me to open up the green crate and I'm very excited to open up the green crate because we're definitely going to get great loot for our level here. We're going to get entire Glock baseball bat and our uh, set here. That's just beautiful. Some healing items. This is just amazing. Like green crates are so great. So that's what I'm talking about. You don't have to kill. You, I didn't use any guns. As you've seen, I used maybe only like one Glock for that small horde of zombies. But I was completely unprepared and such a low level. Like everybody should have more healing items than I do here. So it's super easy. You can definitely open up that green crate for sure. And even if you cannot get 20 red tickets at once you can get 20 red tickets in two times when bunker alpha is gonna reset twice so there is no excuse to not open up green crates. So right now we're gonna start dealing with all of these frenzy giants. I took here a couple of Glocks. We had a bunch of them from the previous episodes. Plus we've gotten one full durability Glock here from the second floor. So I'm gonna open that up. No wall tricks, nothing. No here special shenanigans. I don't wanna do any stupid mistakes. I totally don't wanna die today. Let's get this and we're gonna get crazy, crazy amount of experience. I still think that buff is gonna last for like extra maybe 20 minutes or something, maybe for 15. Now let's loot this locker inside of the locker. Sometimes you can get good stuff. Yes, indeed. And no more space. Okay. Okay, so that buff is still going to last for extra 22 minutes. We've gotten rid of that, my broken cleaver. Wait, did I loot this? Did I, did I, did I? Oh no, I didn't loot this shelf. So let's loot the shelf. Sometimes you can still get a couple of tickets. I don't think I'll be able to get extra 20 uh, green tickets. But again, as many resources I pick up, they're gonna be super valuable. Like I said, in the beginning, every single resource is amazing. Okay, let's go over here and we're gonna start fighting with this frenzy giant again. I could probably do the sneak damage with my saw blade maze, but we don't care about it. As I said many, many times already, if the only reason for you to do wall trick and any other like super uh, more advanced shenanigans here on these frenzy giants. Okay, almost died there because my Glock broke. I literally survived just by luck. So you would have to do all of those shenanigans only if you're planning to assemble your like uh, ATV, right? But if you're not going for that ATV, then you're gonna have enough guns to clear bunker alpha with these guns easily. Only on these frenzy giants, right? Okay, so we're gonna get robber now. We're gonna get bruiser. That's gonna be a lot better. Now let's deal here with my man, frenzy giant. Will I be able to open that up anyways? Oh no, burglar uh, level three skill required. I'm not gonna be able to open it up, but I'll get a little bit of, uh, it's pointless to fight that frenzy giant. Kind of, no, 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 don't punch me. Oof, he didn't punch me. I forgot that he can punch me in the face. That's epic that he did not. Let's keep going further. Maybe he's not gonna kill me when I'm with this set, but you know what? I don't wanna test it. I really don't wanna test it. We have 110 health, but who knows? Okay, so we're gonna take one green ticket. And I assume that we could obviously now go back to the third floor and clear all of that stuff. We have a little bit of guns. As I said many times already, it's like it's probably painful for you to watch me using guns on a lot of zombies here, but you will see yourself. Guns are super easy to get in this account and I just want to unlock my chopper as fast as possible. Last time when I played on my free-to-play account I got really lucky and I assembled it like maybe on level 30, 40, 50. I don't remember but maybe this time I'll get lucky as well. So I have to pay attention now on the durability of my Glock as I do not want to run towards Frenzy Giant unarmored. Okay just like that one more here go my weapon broke. We're gonna take one more Glock here and we're gonna finish off this Frenzy Giant here. Go, He's gonna go to sleep. We're almost level 30 today. So we leveled up from level 19 to level 27. So eight levels and it's still not it. It's We're still not done. We're still gonna get level up a lot here. So kind of sad that I don't have a lot of melee weapons to deal with a lot of Zomzoms. So I'm gonna try to get this Frenzy Giant. Yes, indeed, we got the Frenzy Giant. So we're gonna go over here. I do not wanna fight those toxic abominations. I'm still thinking what could we do with them. I don't want to waste my Glocks on those toxic bombs because I could definitely just deal with one extra frenzy giant. But at the same time, why not? Am I right? Okay, so let's deal with this 
Frenzy Giant, another red ticket, baby. Already 11 <laughs> red tickets after, maybe two or three bonker alphas. We'll be able to open up red crate and then four extra guns. And we are rich and we are set. And then all you have to do is just keep doing this bonker alpha all the time. Okay, so more armor. Definitely gonna take it. Gonna start picking up these rubber parts. For some reason, the game lagged here a lot. But I'll need those rubber parts in order to craft my sewing table. And I'll need that sewing table in order to start uh, crafting bandages. So inside, we're gonna get even more rubber parts and some more aluminum. It's kind of worth it, but I don't really have much space for it. And I'm not really gonna be bothering about that aluminum, at least not right now. So will I be able to sneak behind the wall? Yes, indeed we can. Let's do some damage like this and probably I'll be able to do some wall trick. And let's check out our inbox. And inside of the inbox, we have like this road sign. Okay, so let's fight here. The last toxic abomination, another level, more tickets. And we are at nine uh, yellow. We literally have more red than yellow tickets, but I guess whatever. Let's get more lucky just to get more stuff from the chests. I don't have a lot of healing items, so I should really pay attention now to my health. We're going to open that up and I'm going to try to do some more wall trick on these guys right now somehow, some way, because I'm literally almost out of healing items. Yes, indeed. He started punching me from over here on this wall. So what I'll do, go to the top. I'll open this door up and he's going to start following me. I still have one extra Glock here, so we're going to finish this. Frenzy Giant once again, and we're going to be at level 29. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof, almost punched him again. I would have died. This is scary. <laughs> My heart is going to stop one day. It will be so sad if I die in this account. That will be really sad. I don't want to... I'm not going to lie. I really want to assemble my chopper. If we're going to die after I assemble my chopper, you know, that's fine. Let's get the biker, I think. One day when we'll unlock our bike, that will be better. Can I loot this? Probably I need level two burglar skill. Yeah. So level one burglar skill is useless. All the cool things are not inside of that burglar level one, but inside of the burglar level two and three. I really, I have no idea how we're clearing this bunker alpha. Can somebody explain to me where we, did we get all of these resources? The survival guide is awesome. I didn't even try to do it. I literally didn't even do any tasks there, especially just to get something. I'm just literally playing and we're finishing that. Okay, so as you can see, toxic abomination for some reason. We we can, we can definitely do the wall trick here on that toxic abomination. Why not? I'm not super. Okay, so let's deal with this frenzy giant. Go to sleepity sleep. Another level. More red tickets. Just beautiful. And we're going to get another bruiser. Yes, indeed. The more health I have, the better that is. Let's loot this crate. Maybe another red ticket. That would be insane. Okay, so we didn't get the red ticket. We're just going to get the shoes. I think I'm going to pick up the shoes. And now we're going to loot this locker. So I'm almost done with this entire third floor. So here we go. Go to sleep. Another red ticket. Yes, yes. That definitely puts a smile of my face. Let's loot now this crate. And I think we'll be kind of done with this bunker alpha now. We could probably again do the wall trick. Can I be able, will I be able to do it? Okay, so let's hide over here. I'm not really a huge fan of wall trick. For some reason, I don't know. For, it's like, it's cool to use it. I'm just probably too lazy. Just definitely probably too lazy. Okay, so now we're gonna deal here with this toxic spitter. We're gonna heal out with my beans and I don't have almost anything else, dude. We're almost full on everything. I mean, when I say we're almost full on everything, we're almost out of everything. That's that's the word that I wanted to say. Okay, so let's try to fight one more of those toxic abominations. Okay, so one left. I think it will be a lot easier. 1v1. Wall trick is a lot better. It's actually a really valuable strategy. Like, I almost used zero healing items throughout this entire bunker alpha. So that's good. In my opinion, I'm definitely going to use that wall trick a lot more frequently. There's going to be one more guy. And we can seriously do it. Look at this. We can take this guy out. I mean, I'm going to heal up a little bit. And we're going to go back over there. And we're going to wall trick this toxic abomination. All I need now is just to get gas tank from the first red crate. If I'm going to get that on the first red crate... Am I going to flip out? Probably not really. I think that happened for me like twice or thrice. Uh, look around skill. We've got an inactive skill. That's cool. But is it really that great? Probably better than nothing, but uh, kind of useless skill, to be honest. Kind of useless skill, especially even for the beginning and even further in the game. It's just cool for the looks. And I don't have really a lot of weapons. I'll need to use my shotgun for the Frenzy Giant, but I kind of don't want to do it. So we're going to get back now to the first floor. And it was seriously insanely productive day. We almost cleared entire second and third floor without any items. So I highly suggest you checking out this video on how I became alone in Miss Survival. Or click on the second card and you'll go to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. Or hop over to my channel, go to play this, and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.